Hello, my name is David Parker Ray, and I suppose you could call me the Toy Box Killer. For years, I prowled the back roads and small towns of southern New Mexico, preying on the vulnerable, the drifters, the sex workers, anyone I could lure into my twisted world. For three agonizing days, Cynthia Vigil's world had been reduced to the confines of David Parker Ray's Twisted Toy Box, a sinister trailer outfitted with an array of torture devices, surgical tools, and hidden cameras. Oh, my toy box was a sight to behold. An elaborately outfitted trailer packed to the brim with torture devices, surgical tools, cameras to record my sessions. I took such pride in crafting that little chamber of horrors. Trapped in this chamber of horrors, she had endured unimaginable cruelty at the hands of Ray and his accomplices, her cries for help drowned out by the soundproofed walls. And the women I brought there, well, let's just say they didn't leave the same as when they arrived. Some even became my accomplices. Summoning every ounce of her courage, she waited for the right moment and then made her move clawing, fighting, and finally miraculously breaking free from the toy box's clutches. Bloodied and traumatized, she stumbled into the harsh light of day, determined to bring her tormentor to justice. The exact number of lives I claimed? Ah, that's a mystery that may never be fully solved, but estimates suggest it could be as many as 60 poor souls lost to the rugged wilderness surrounding Elephant Butte Lake. Their bodies, their personal effects, all of it hidden away, waiting to be discovered. Though the physical and psychological scars would never fully heal, Cynthia refused to be defined by her trauma. She became a fierce advocate for victims of human trafficking and violence, using her voice to demand change and ensure that no one else would suffer the same fate. Her story stands as a testament to the indomitable power of the human spirit, a reminder that even in the darkest of circumstances, hope and resilience can prevail.